So anyway, um, Gary blocked me again, I guess, a few days ago. I didn't really notice at first. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out if it's really worth doing a video about. Um, but, you know, in a way it is, in a way it isn't. But the thing is this, okay. Gary has now put out a video calling for contributions to the walk the walk thing. Now he's an admin there and I don't really see why I should have any confidence that he's not going to ban me from that channel at some point, that my contributions to that effort might not be in jeopardy because Gary cannot control his inner eight. Uh, I'm very good at, at working with my inner eight because I don't try to cage it. See, Gary's inner eight is supposedly caged, but, but if you get very close to the cage, that thing has long arms and pretty sure it has a key to the cage and I think it's locked up in Gary's you know bathroom having a smoke or something and I uh, uh, and, and that's a concern right off the, the top because I think the sustainability project is good uh, and so that alone jeopardizes it from my point of view but beyond that Gary has made a video calling for contributions uh, in replies to videos on his channel. So walking the walk is only as open as Gary's channel is, and that's not very open. So um, I have a real problem with that, and I have a real problem with this walking the walk thing because of that. And um, you know, I'm sorry, it doesn't change my view about sustainability, it just affects my view of why the internet is such a fucked up place to try to do activism at times, because people are in full-on property rights mode, like Gary, you know, it's his channel, his property, so it's fine if he just does it on a whim, it's fine to let the inner ape to decide who's banned or not, because this is his private property, and that's all it affects, oh, except for no, see, it affects everything else, too, so, um, so yeah, I have a real problem with that, and it's ironic, because I happen to agree on instant runoff voting, and on uh, representation, uh, non-geographical representation. I agree on both of those things. But since Gary is such an impulsive jerk, uh, it hardly matters that he has these philosophical positions because being uh, a, uh, an ape-like jerk is you know, kind of a big problem. It's going to interfere with these, you know, these nice ideas he says he has. Because you know? if, if you act out pettiness all the time, then when you come up with your high-minded ideas, no sane person should believe you. That's not what's as most important to you. I'm, I'm about a thousand million quadrillion times more objective than Gary, and I know how I know how to tame that inner ape. Gary is clueless. Okay, so here's what I said that, that pissed Gary off enough to ban, to block me. No, in Mendham, I don't think you do understand the word subjective. Now the thing is this, um, Gary seems to be doing two things. I mean, one, it looks a little bit like, I, I don't know, on some level it's almost like he wants me to, he likes these really ardent arguments. So he's trying to piss me off so that I do arguing the way he does. Um, but maybe not, because he did ban me after replying to him, so he's trying to get replies. So obviously not the way to go about it. But I think really it's two things. One, Gary's inner ape wants an exclamation point when he gets mad. And it's like, gonna ban, click. You know, the little point in exclamation is where he clicks and bans. Um, and then the other thing is that uh, he's trying behavioralism on me. And I know that from the first time he unbanned me where he said the list of things he banned me for again and not to do them. Well, here's the thing, um, I don't like being manipulated with behavioralism, so when I notice that it's happening, I subtract it out, just like we were talking about having to subtract bias. You know, I will let somebody get me angry, I, I don't think, I think there's a place for anger and, and all the medium forms of anger and stuff in this world, but if I find that somebody's trying to make me angry, then I won't let it get me angry, you know? I will subtract that out just like I would have biased. You see, the will comes along and is like, 
tell Gary fuck himself forever. And I'm like, well, I don't think there's much point to that at this point. And then the whale comes up with another suggestion. You know, and, and in this way we, we filter because we can feed to the will perceptions. We can clarify to the will, hey, there's a bigger picture. And the will, in my case, listens. In Gary's case, evidently, doesn't listen. It has to be put in a cage. Or we're told it's put in a cage, but we see the thing gets out a lot, doesn't it? And, um, and so it's sort of relevant because it's about subtracting bias. It's about modifying our perceptions in a conscious way with our uh, deeper understandings. So, um, yeah, um, Gary, if somebody says you don't understand a term, that's not an insult unless you think you have infinite into knowledge already. Uh, if I said you could never understand this term because you're too stupid, uh, that would be an insult. And if I said you'll never understand the term because your inner ape won't give you time t to comprehend it, uh, that would just be the facts.